Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time, we won the Dreamstone from Isla, but we had our gate key stolen from us by the Reptites, so now we have to recruit her help in order to get it back. A valuable item has been stolen from us. We could just take Robo with us and defeat them with a special procedure involving lasers, but we'd rather have Isla help us out. So, I'm gonna bring Robo with us. He's just so good at this point in the game. Okay, well, let's ask the villagers. Maybe one of them saw the reptites and didn't get killed by them or eaten or whatever they like to do with us. Okay, now this is how buying items or weapons or equipment or, well, yeah, equipment really, works in this time period. You have these special items, fangs, petals, horns, and feathers. You need three of any two of those, so like three fangs and three petals, or three horns and three feathers or whatever, and they give us a piece of equipment. Hey, stop talking! Okay. And we can get those items from any monster in this time period, or just about everyone, and if I, as I recall. Uh, they don't really drop gold, so there you are. That's what you get in this time period. And there's a hunting range to the north, as this lady says, where we can get, get those items more frequently. So that's where we're going to be heading next, because we want to get some good equipment. Yeah, let's see what they got going on here. Wow, they got some... Better weapons here. We want to get one of each of those for the appropriate party members. Now I want to get two ruby vests, one for Marley, one for Robo. I don't want to get one for Luca because the Tabin vest is still better for her. And we're going to get a better piece of armor for Chrono shortly. And then I want to get three rock helms because uh, we're going to find one in the upcoming area that we're going to be going to soon when we go after the reptites. And yeah, um, Isla already comes with one. And she already comes with a ruby vest, too. So, I mean, it makes sense. This is her time period. They give her free equipment, right? I'll go over Isla's setup in just a moment. Let's see if we can find out where the reptites went. Oh, they went to the south, to the forest. Well, there you are. Maybe they kidnapped Kino. Oh, no. Why wouldn't they have just killed all of us while we were sleeping, you know? I mean, that, that always, you know, didn't make sense to me. She's your chief and all you give her is a freaking tonic that doesn't even restore 20% of her HP? Gee, thanks a lot, bud. I mean, I know you sell mid-tonics here. Come on. Okay, let's take a look at Isla here. Now, she's a little different from the other party members because she doesn't really have weapons, so to speak, that we upgrade over the course of the game. I want to equip her with Rage Band there because her physical attack is very powerful. Uh, it works similarly to how male characters' attack power is, uh, or damage is calculated. Uh, it's a little different, but it's still dependent on your power stat. Um, so she's going to be very powerful, and that's why I want to equip the Rage Band on her so she can counterattack and deal even more damage that way. But anyway, the way her fist works is that it upgrades when you get up to a certain level. Um, I could look it up, but I really don't care because I'm probably not going to get to it in this Let's Play series. But yeah, it's like somewhere in the 50s or something where it upgrades. And when she gets up into like the high 90s, it'll upgrade again, and from what I've heard, she can deal over 10,000 damage on a critical hit with that weapon. But, um, well, you gotta get the critical hit, obviously, and, um, what is it? The, the, the damage over 10,000 doesn't display, it only displays 9,999, so... Yeah, Chrono Cyclone's pretty useful here against these enemies. They're all exactly the same, by the way. There's no difference. They just have different names and drop different items for some reason. Oh, and here's some other new enemies. They drop some more items. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention how many we're going to need. We're going to need uh, nine petals, 12 fangs, 15 horns and 18 feathers. So we'll have to go through this area a 
couple times to get all those items, but that's okay. There's also, um, I, I forgot whether I mentioned it or not, there's a rare enemy in this area that um, will drop three of each item, uh, but it only appears when it rains, so we gotta keep an eye out for it. Uh-oh, where is it? Okay, not over there. I hope it's over here. Yes! Here it is! The Almighty! New! This guy can be pretty tough. Do I have my dual text yet? No, I don't. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to rely on our good old-fashioned physical attacks. Man, Isla doesn't have anything on her. So anyway, New has uh, three attacks. Um, normally, its attack will do... Uh, will reduce your HP to one. Uh, otherwise, it can deal one damage to you or zero damage to you. Usually, it will deal enough damage to reduce your HP to one. So, just keep someone on standby for healing to defeat this guy. Has 1200 HP. It can be found in every time period in the game, except 1999, of course. There we go. And we get 30 tech points for defeating him. So this is a very good way of earning tech a lot of tech points early in the game. Well, yeah, I suppose this is still early in the game. We get three of each of those, 30 tech points, and we get a third eye. Okay. <laughs> Actually, that, that's a, a, an accessory you can equip. It does something to your evade. So anyway, the new can be found in any one of the... I don't know if it can be found in the southwest corner, but I know it can be found in the other three corners of the hunting range here. So that's where you'd find it if you want to fight it over and over again. Okay, so now I'm, I've am i defeated all the enemies here, so I'm going to have to get out of here, come back in, get all the items that I need. I shouldn't be too far away. Let's see. Ah, there we are. Okay, yeah, yeah, I should only have to fight a couple more enemies to get all the items I need, so I'm going to take care of that, re uh, rearrange the equipment of my party with the new stuff, and then we'll head to a side area first before going after the reptites, actually. Okay, we're back, and I've got all the new equipment that I wanted to use here, so we're all set, we're ready to go, let's move on. I just wanted to show you something amusing that I found while using the fast forward feature. Just listen to the music. <laughs> I just thought that was amusing while I was moving around, so. There's not a whole lot that we can do here, but as long as, you know, this place is available, there's a good piece of equipment while we're here. So we might as well go out and get it. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we gotta hit them first in order to make them open up, and then we can, I guess, kill them or something. They become a uh, pahoho, whatever that is. Wait, I want everyone to be in position so that way it doesn't like. I think it'll run away if it's opened up and you don't kill it fast enough or something like that. Got it. These enemies are a little harder than you're gonna run into, but yeah, we learned uh, new dual tech drill kick. That'll be real useful against these guys. Get up here. There we are. Ah, there we are. I think these guys are weak to lightning or something. I, I forget. Let's check out the drill kick. Why not? Can I tackle an enemy in the air? We'll find out today! Ow. That'll do the trick. Gosh, I hope I can get what I'm looking for before I run out of time. There we go. There's not a whole lot we can do here. We're not really meant to come here until later in the game, but it's there. It's easy access. There's a good piece of equipment here. So, where did that other chest go? Ah, oh, there it is.
Yeah, I should be able to reach the chest that I'm looking for in time. Let's get up here. Uh-oh. Okay, let's find that treasure. There it is. I think I can get it without getting into another battle. I hope so. And we get the meso mail that we want to give to Chrono, and that's what I came here for, so that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Next time, we're going to head to the forest maze and head after the reptites who stole the gate key. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!